Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a full body push workout. So push is just quads, triceps, and chest. I may do abs, I may not do abs. I'll let you know how I feel throughout the workout. But if you guys have been following my channel for the past few weeks, I have been trying to squat two plates and I did it. I did it on Monday. Cha cha cha. Um, I actually beat that. I did 245. So I think two plates is 225 or 235. Um, but I did more than that. I did two plates plus 10 on each side. So I, I beat my PR, which is crazy. Um, I'm probably not gonna test it today because Monday are my strength days and today is more so just hypertrophy and volume. But let's see how I'm feeling on the squat. I haven't squatted since Monday, so I'm a little nervous and also very excited for myself. But hopefully next Monday, I will have a full workout video where I'm beating my squat and today we're just gonna get into this. So let's start with the warm up. First, I really like to stretch out my hamstring. Because I have the tightest hamstrings in the world. Try to stay low. Point this toe up to the ceiling. Six, seven. Right, guys we got squats I was trying not to use a Smith machine but the free bar is taken and there's only one on the side and I really don't want to go to the other side so we're gonna do some squats which is cool because I did want to focus a lot more today on tempo and time under tension again I said Monday was my heavy day so today is really just high rep um, and time under tension so Smith is fine for that we don't have to be like too anal about it let's start with 45s and I'll grab my knee sleeves and my belt and we'll get cracked we're gonna do paused reps, okay? So we're gonna squat down, we're gonna pause, one, two, explode up. I'm feeling super fatigued. Um, with that being said, listen to your body. I did do hamstrings yesterday, so not the smartest. I usually do take off today, and then I train again Friday, but the schedule didn't really work out that way, so I'm taking all of this in account, right? Also, a lot of people ask me, when is a good time to start using belts? Try to push it until you really need the belt. Okay, this is probably a little too light for a belt for me, but I have like really bad lower back pains. So ideally you don't want to depend on the belt, you want to strengthen the back so you don't have the back pain. But I am not doing that right now, obviously. So do what I say, not what I do. five plates already on here I'm not gonna take it off so let's get into it second exercise oh boy that's heavy Oof. Ah! 
as eight. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna take a plate off on both sides. We're gonna do 12, 15. I'm gonna take a plate off on both sides. I'm gonna do 20, 25. I think I'm gonna do 20, 25. Um, so th those are gonna be the next two exercises in this. So here our rest period is gonna be a little bit shorter. It's still a lot of weight. But because the first exercise, I probably did that honestly at like a seven RPE. So the rest for the second one is gonna be a little bit less. It's gonna feel a lot worse. So. Don't just stand up when you're on the leg press, okay? You're gonna get lightheaded, you're gonna pass out, you're gonna sue the gym, chill out. So, we're gonna take up another one, but we're gonna aim for 20-25 for the next set. Again, we're keeping the intensity up, and rest just a little bit slower. Yeah. Woo! All right, we got 20. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ah! Ah! Holy sugar, honey, I see. That was awesome. All right, guys. So now we're gonna get into chest. We're gonna do dumbbell bench press. And I'm gonna superset that with body weight walking lunges just to finish up my legs. My knees are fried, so that's something I gotta work on. But 10 to 12, um, I'm gonna start with 30 pounds and see how I feel. Um, let's go up. Let's do 35. Let's try to get 9, 10 on the dumbbells. Woo. Let's get one minute break. Am I looking like? Am I giving? Thank you. 
Oh boy. We got 12 walking lunges. So since my my goal for the last set was to do 10 reps and I did 12, I'm going to go up. <laughs> So here's a little tip for the ladies that I do get a lot of DMs about it on Instagram. So full disclosure, this is just a free space of just honesty and value here. I did have a breast augmentation and a lot of women ask me, how do I do pull-ups or back exercises and chest exercises with breast implants? So here's the tea. Mind over matter. Speak to your doctor. It is extremely uncomfortable, especially when you are recovering from the procedure because you do feel the implants move. And that sounds crazy. And it's very discomforting. Un discom it's uncomfortable, disheartening. Anyway, so it, it definitely is something that you have to get used to, but you have to understand that building the muscles around the area are just gonna make the area stronger. You don't, however, wanna strain it to the point where there's a rupture or a tear or anything like that. So. If you are the type of girl that lifts a lot, you know your limits. If you are getting, if you are new into fitness, then that's something that you have to be very transparent with your doctor about, right? Be honest. It, even if you're annoying your doctor, it doesn't matter. This is your health, this is your life, right? Don't ever feel like, oh my God, I don't wanna keep blowing up their phone, or I don't wanna keep asking stupid questions. No question is stupid when it comes to your life. So I honestly would start working out, feel it, understand what's the what's the implant that's making you uncomfortable and what's the muscle that's making you uncomfortable. Understand how to separate those two things, okay? Because if it's your muscle, you can handle it, work through it, get your back stronger, get your arms stronger, your triceps, your biceps, your core, get all of those things stronger. If you want to avoid chest for the first two years, do that. There's a lot of women that do that and don't feel shame about it. There's a lot of women that don't work out chest at all. And for a very long time, I didn't work out chest. I do a lot of push-ups though. So I'm very used to moving my chest in I'm very used to the range of motion and I'm very used to understanding how the implant feels when it's moving around my muscle, which is crazy, but I'm used to it. And I also feel it when I do back. I feel it when I do pull-ups. So I do back a lot. It's just something you have to really work with your body and understanding the difference, right? So that's where my to muscle connection becomes very important because you're able to tap into what part of your body is being responsible for the stressor, if that makes sense. So obviously I still do chest and I still go heavy and there's nothing wrong with them. They've been great. They're durable. They're doing their thing. I found a 40. Oof. Okay. Eight to ten. Ah. Uh. Well, I 
felt like I had it, so I did it. I did get a little wobbly. Make sure to pay attention to that. Try not to be as sloppy, be a little bit more controlled. You will mess up your shoulders. Um, lunges. Oh my God. You got to remind yourself every day that you can do hard things. You can do hard things. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys, next up we have low to high cable flies. We're going to superset that with push ups and wrap. Last one, five, 12, and wrap. Two minute break in between each. And we got three sets. I am cooked, y'all. <laughs> and dirty, gross. what I got for y'all, which I'm not mad at. It is a super set. And y'all made it, guys. That is it. That is the full complete workout. I ended up not doing triceps, so we really just kept it quads and chest today. Um, my legs are on fire, my chest is on fire. Really try to max yourself out. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you do, subscribe, comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and let me know if there's something that you want to see specifically for the next YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for coming back, and peace out, y'all.